Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express problems that exist in a city. For example, there are too many cars in my city. There's too much pollution in my city. We need more public transportation. We need more police officers. You'll also learn how to use adverbs of quantity. For example, too many, too much, fewer, more. In our previous class, we learned about count and non-count nouns. And that is what's going to help us to understand when we're going to use too many. For example, in this case, we have cars. Uh, we are going to use too many. And when we're going to use too much. For example, in this case, we have a non-count noun, and therefore we're going to use too much. So let's now try to make sense of this by looking at this chart. Let me talk a little bit about making sense of this statement here. There are too many cars. And I'm also going to talk about making sense of this next statement. There aren't enough buses. Let me present this structure now. In order for us to make sense of there are too many cars, we need to understand the following rule. Uh, and that is that we're going to have there. And by the way, this can be the subject of the sentence. It doesn't necessarily need to be there. Like, for example, we can say, we have too many cars. And let me go ahead. As I am talking about that, I'm going to go ahead and write the examples now. So let me write the example that is there. There are, whenever you see the expression too many, that means that there is a problem, that we have too much of too many. In this case, there are too many cars. OK, um, and just so that we keep the pattern there, I'm going to go ahead and change the colors um, there. And that follows the verb to be. And then we have too many. And that's how we make that expression. There are too many cars. We can also say we have too many cars. What I would like to do next is to make sense of that last statement that you see there. There aren't enough buses. And this is whenever we are missing something, right? We need more of something like, for example, we need more buses. Maybe we need more police officers. We're going to use the expression there aren't enough. And then that's going to follow a count now. So we use there plus aren't, and then this is going to follow the expression enough. And what else can we say? Well, we can say there aren't enough police officers. What's another problem in your city? Well, maybe there aren't enough parks. What I would like to do now is to talk about how to give opinions about what is needed in a city. And so I want to make sense of the example, there should be fewer cars. That's an opinion about what I think we need in my city. So in order for us to form that idea, we need a subject. Then we need should. After that, we're going to need the verb to be. And this is followed by either fewer or more. And then it's going to be followed by a count now. So let me give you an example of that right now. For example, we could say there should be fewer cars, which is the example that we have here. We have a subject. This could be in the form of there, as it can be in the form of another pronoun or another kind of subject. Uh, then it's going to follow the model verb should. And then this is, will be followed by a verb. It can be the verb to be, but it can be other verbs as well. And then the um, adverb quantities, such as fewer or more, and then whatever count noun that exists. There should be fewer cars. We should have more police officers. And these are opinions that we want to express about what is needed in a city. 
And the other example that I haven't talked about, we need more subway lanes. That is kind of like a stronger opinion, so it's no longer a suggestion, if you will. Um, but it's it's something similar, and so um, it's quite similar. We're gonna say we. The only difference is that we don't include a model bird, right? We need more, and in this case, subway lines. What I would like to do next is explain how to describe problems that take place in a city, but now I'm going to do it with non-count nouns. And so what I would like for you to notice is the difference, right? We, we discussed how to express problems with count nouns. For example, we said there are too many cars. And what I want you to notice is that with non-count nouns, we're going to use different words. So for example, instead of too many, we will use too much. Instead of fewer, we will use less. Um, we can use more for count nouns as well as for non-count nouns. So as you can see the example there, we need more subway lanes. That's a countable. We need more public transportation. That's a non-countable. Um, and enough is the same way. There aren't enough buses. There isn't enough parking. Um, the only thing that will change in this last example is that we're always going to treat no countable nouns as singular, even though we might be talking about uh, more things. So let me try to present some structure there so that we can try to make sense of the examples here. So for example, we can say there is too much traffic and what I would like to do is make sure that I'm using the appropriate colors that I chose and there's our example we have a subject that is followed by the verb and then this is followed by either too much or enough and then we have a non count now so the example there is too much traffic let me give another quick example there is too much, and I'm going to say pollution. Um, and what I would like to do is give an example there. Um, there isn't enough parking. And the last thing related to this topic is how to express opinions that you have about what should be included in a city. And the only difference now is that we're going to include some sort of model verb, okay? So we have our subject is there, then we include should, be, uh, and in this case we're going to use less, and we're going to say pollution. Um, I'm going to change these words now, and instead of too much or not enough or, or enough, I will use there should be less or more. Okay, because what we want to do now is we want to express an opinion. So we're going to have a subject. Uh, the subject is there. It's going to be followed by the model verb should. And then this is going to be followed by some kind of verb. It doesn't have to be the verb to be. It can be something else. And then either less or more and whatever non count that exists. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice the concepts that we learned. I want you to practice giving expressions about what problems are in your city. And I want you to use a combination of both count nouns and non-count nouns. And remember that if you are going to use count nouns, you're going to use expressions such as too many, fewer, or more. And if you're going to use non-count nouns, then you're going to use expressions such as too much, less, or more. And so here's a quick guide of what I would like for you to do. I want you to tell me about your city. So a quick example, the city should provide more. We have too many. There's too much. There isn't enough. There should be fewer. There should be less. And you either include count nouns or non-count nouns to give your opinions or to talk about your city.